Hey, Pastor Mark Conforti here with another Cheerwine Chat. I grabbed a Cheerwine, how about you grab one too? I'm enjoying these videos as a way to share what's happening in the life of the church, but also to share with you what's on my heart. So I'd like to share a few more reflections with you. But first, how about we catch up with someone really special who works here at the church behind the scenes. He always does a great job and we're all thankful for him. I'm here with Mike Fanzler, our church's building superintendent. Mike, welcome to Cheerwine Chat. Good to be here. Things have been busy here at the church as we have been preparing to welcome people back into the building. Yes, indeed. What have you been doing? It's been a lot going on. Uh, been sort of preparing, sort of planning ahead, trying to figure out what we need to do to get ready uh, for when church starts back and get anything, everything in order for that. Uh, we, we have been going throughout the whole building, uh, sort of treating, sanitizing, cleaning, really deep cleaning, things that we haven't really been able to do in a while, which has been nice. Uh, we went through the entire building basically cleaning carpets, floors, repolishing, sanitizing, uh, went through restrooms, uh, deep cleaning, sanitizing them, preparing the classrooms, sanctuary, uh, just in general, just trying to really cover all the bases, get everything touched up and ready to go. We recently welcomed back the children for the Children's Development Center. We have. Uh, been working hand in hand with Sarah Hensley, sort of getting ready for that. Uh, been working between that and trying to get all the things as far as the uh, CDC requirements in the state. Uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but we've got everything covered. In fact, the, uh, the areas probably uh, at this point are, uh, are to the point where normally we would be preparing for fall to get ready during the summer months. We're already there. We're ready. All the rooms along with preschool and CDC are ready to go for that. And you've been using a special COVID-19 cleaner, correct? We did. We, uh, when this all started, we, I met with our chemical supplier and cleaning supply person and asked for certification on some things. What we were using was a hospital grade cleaner. And he said it was probably sufficient, but he suggested us using something a little stronger that was CDC certified. And we went to that route and we've been using it along with the other one. And it's, uh, a chemical that we can mist the air or the surfaces and five minute drying time and it kills all the germs and it's certified to kill the coronavirus. And we're looking forward to welcoming people for worship on July the 12th. Yes, we are. Uh, prepared. We've been heavily preparing the sanctuary. It's been gone through thoroughly. Uh, all the surfaces are been wiped down, cleaned. We've went over the floor with a disinfectant cleaned the carpets and treated them. Uh, we had a funeral a few weeks ago and we had a team come in and pull all the church pew cushions and we have pulled Bibles and hymnals, things that could be reused that couldn't be cleaned quickly to get all that ready for that. So yeah, we're ready to go, I think. Just need a people back. Yeah, <laughs> so we're ready. We're ready. Mike, thank you for all that you do. It's really an honor and blessing to serve with you here at the oh, church. Uh, it's, it's a blessing. I, it's very much a, um, I enjoy being a part of the ministry here. Enjoy your cheer wine. Thank you. You remember the mission of our church? To make and nurture Christian disciples through the presence and power of God. That has never stopped. It's continued. Over the past several months, we've needed to make so many changes, and we need to continue experimenting and adapting. As much as we want to land on that new normal, and how many people want to go back to the old normal, we need to keep experimenting and figuring things out because the Spirit of God is at work within us and within the life of the church. I said in another video that we need to be a community of hope, belonging, and care. And I think that's still true. Hope means that our faith's posture is facing forward. We believe that tomorrow has the possibility of being better than today because of the love of Jesus Christ at work within us. We're not going to wallow in fear. We're not going to hide in the corner. But we're going to face the future together. 
and we are a community of belonging. We love to belong to one another in Christian fellowship, to connect with each other. And it's been so hard that we haven't been able to connect in the ways that we usually do. So I hope that you are open to belonging to one another in another small group setting. It's been the wisdom of the church that disciples are often made by connecting with each other in small group settings. Some small groups are dedicated to reading the Bible. Other small groups are dedicated to sharing a meal together. Some are dedicated to going out in the community and serving the needs of the community. Other small groups focus on building strong interpersonal relationships, asking that beautiful Wesleyan question, how is it with your soul? We need to keep figuring out how can we belong to one another. It seems that the COVID-19 precautions are forcing us to think in this way because we can't have those large group gatherings. We are a community of hope, a community of belonging, and a community of care. I'm so inspired by all the ways that our church has provided care for the vulnerable, those who are perhaps a little bit older, and those who are facing some health challenges. In the recent weeks, I think we're realizing that we need to continue to be a community of hope, belonging, and care so that we can experience healing and be agents of healing. Our African-American neighbors have been suffering pain and distrust, anger, and you and I need to aim in the direction of becoming anti-racist. We need to listen, not swoop in with the right answers, but we need to listen and connect with people. I think if we can lean in this direction with humble confidence, then we are heading in the right direction as the church. And I hope that you will join me in this. Coming up on July the 12th, our church is going to have another shift because we're going to resume in-person worship services, 8.30 and 11 o'clock on Sundays in the sanctuary. At the same time, namely during the 11 o'clock service, you can watch the worship service and worship with your sisters and brothers while you are at home, on vacation, wherever you might be. Thanks to technology, we can live stream the 11 o'clock worship service. Or suppose you have to work on Sunday morning, you can go back and go to the church's YouTube channel and worship at another time. I'm dedicated to doing everything possible to make the online worship experience meaningful so that you're not just watching a screen, but you are engaged in the life of the Spirit with sisters and brothers in the faith. I'm also dedicated, along with our reentry task force, to making sure that when you do enter the sanctuary for worship, that you are safe that you will not have to think about your health being compromised. We don't want you to be thinking about the mask that you're wearing or if you had sanitized your hands enough. We want you to enter in the sanctuary with a worshipful spirit in your heart and in your mind. We want you to focus on the presence and power of God within you because that's primarily how we are nurtured. We also engage, of course, in the life of the church in education, fellowship, outreach, and caring. And as we continue to figure out what this looks like on the church calendar, please know you are such a valuable part of what God is doing in this church and in the community. Your life of faith reflects God's love in this hurting and broken world and I'm so thankful for you. Before I sign off, just know how much I'm looking forward to connecting with you. I would love to talk on the phone. Maybe we could have a video chat, or if you're open to it, I would love to drop by the house and visit with you. I can bring my lawn chair 
set it up out in the front yard. I could wear the mask and we could visit and catch up in person. Well, running out of cheer wine, time for me to go. See you next time on Cheer Wine Chat. <laughs>